Chair's place at the table. I thought somehow uh, Chris has gotten the wrong idea about this. If I didn't know you better, I'd say that's cute. It is cute, isn't it? My That's God. what I thought. And I did think there was something funny going on, and I thought they should address this. But it never occurred to me that they were actually... Well, of course they wouldn't know without telling me. Well, you know, too soon old, too late smart. <laughs> I know better now. But at the time, it never occurred to me that people could behave like this, you know. I mean, this was appalling. Um, <coughs> and you heard about the firing on the phone, a note? No, um, we were invited, Urjo and I were told, um, Pam and uh, Peter, I don't believe were there, but Urjo and I were told at a board meeting. And we realized we should have known earlier, but we were so busy, you see. I mean, here we were trying to put a, a whole season together in two months. It was, we were, we were going like gangbusters. I was on the phone uh, 14 hours a day. We were trying to break in a new general manager. That's another story, this, this uh, cookie, <laughs> who didn't last very long. But Who was the general manager? I can't remember his name now. He was, he was there for those two months, and he was constantly undermining us. But again, I didn't know this either at the time. I just couldn't figure out why, A, he was never in his office, and B, he was never making any of these phone calls he said he was going to make. He never did any of these things. And later on, I realized, of course, he knew that the board was trying to get rid of us. So he didn't want to do anything that would be too serious, for when we left, because then he was going to do everything that John Dexter wanted. So he was part of his job was to keep us at bay. I didn't know that then, but um, the the only other hint I had was when we went to Jack Hutt, who used to be a stage manager at Stratford, but by this time was in a, a managerial position upstairs in the offices, and we asked for um, a specific kind of memo paper and uh, stationery for us. And he or he did order this, but when it came back, it was only about that much. <laughs> and he had, obviously Jack, whether he knew or not, I don't know, but he, some, he smelled that this wasn't going to last. And he only ordered as much paper as he thought would last out the time we'd be there. And indeed, he was right. Do you think the board learned, given the, the melee that followed in the press afterwards with the board and, and Stratford itself. Do you think the board learned that they had? I think they were very surprised, very surprised. I don't think they thought either anybody would care. Right. And it was Hershey was brought in eventually, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and would Dexter you like, would was you out of the question you... because the federal government refused his import papers or something. Yes. Well, it was... Um, it became a federal uh, issue. Yeah, it was so, uh, what's his name? Oh, Axworthy. Yeah, Axworthy, that's yeah, right. Axworthy. Um, that uh, said no, he wasn't going to let Dexter in, he wasn't going to let this happen. And, and I must say it? equity was very much on our side as well. I applaud equity for that because sometimes equity doesn't yeah. take a stand on, on things, you know, and, and they did. They were absolutely 100% there. No, the, 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 the communities in, in Montreal and Toronto were much more ready for a, a repatriation yes, yes. of the Stratford Festival. And yes. it was waiting for that to happen. So when it was frustrated like that, I mean, the community was just going, this is crazy. This yeah. is living 30 years would ago. You, would you like to know how yes. that actually happened? Urjo and I were fired at an evening board meeting here in Stratford. Um, we were absolutely stunned, and we repaired to the Victorian Inn bar. We got in there, we ordered a drink, Urjo went and phoned his wife, Sheila, and told her, and I went and phoned my husband, Douglas, and told him. Went back, sat down, we had a drink, sort of looked at each other, completely gobsmacked, both of us, I don't think Urjo had any idea either. I know he didn't. Neither one of us did. And then we began to look back and talk about 
of course we should have known, of course that's what this meant, of course that's what this meant. I remembered going into the board meeting, of course, with that piece of paper. I thought, of course, they knew then that they didn't want us, and the various signposts that had been up along the way. We had probably two drinks. I went home. Douglas had already phoned the papers. That's how this broke, because the board already had a statement prepared that they were going to give to the media the next day, saying that they had re-examined our season, they didn't think they could make it work financially, and uh, while they were very grateful for our participation, they were going to bring, they, they had just learned, and wasn't it wonderful, that John Dexter was free. Now, I don't, I don't know what the actual wording of that press release was, but that was the gist of it. But Douglas phoned the papers that night, and the whole thing went <laughs> So they didn't have a chance to, to do their cover story. They tried, and they tried to blacken all our names with this financial thing. That was night. 1980, yeah. Was, wasn't it? Yeah. And when I say they tried to blacken all our names, I don't mean that they did that. I don't mean that they were trying to harm us. I don't think they were. I think, A, it was a split board, and the board, the executive, didn't tell the rest of the board what they were doing. So from that point of view, it was a dysfunctional board. And B, I think, again, they just thought, nobody's going to notice. Nobody's going to care. Who's going to care? Well, it was a wondrous thing that happened, and it incurred pain and grief on one side, but it, did, it actually pushed us to the next stage. I guess it did, you yes. Know? And, it, and it enabled this triumvirate with Antony at the helm yeah. to be in existence yeah. today, it seems to me.